Hi and welcome to video 3. This video will be exclusively talking about your organizational flow chart that you need to insert in, in the page for your uh, big picture assignment. Um, so let's go back first of all and just reference uh, what we've done up to this point and that is of course um, we will pretend that everything is completed here now and we have all the information and the APA referencing that we need. Now it's time to make sure that the organizational flow chart goes into the section of the paper that we want to put it in. Um, many ways of, of, of putting in an organizational flow chart. Uh, the two ways that we have to do it, of course, is that if you get one that's given to you from your agency, uh, you, you insert it. And then the other one is making your own, which is actually quite easy to do. And I'm going to show you how to do both. I just want to show you for uh, the purposes of my example. I did put in an organizational flowchart, and when I explained uh, the uh, paper to you in class, and, and I'll just make this uh, so you can you can see this a little bit smaller. I, I said that I pretended that this actually came from the agency. I said that it was from Greenland Country Haven. We put a copyright date on it just to show you how to properly do it. But this is actually a flowchart that I created, and I used Microsoft Word to create this flowchart. Once I created it, I made it into a picture, and then I inserted the photo um, into the into the into the the paper, and I've properly uh, APA uh, cited it as a figure. So first of all, I want to talk about the APA citation and and how to insert it as a figure. Um, so I've given you on on uh, in your course uh, a. A, a little resource for this, uh, which is the, of course, the publication manual and the section about how to, uh, well, first of all, uh, properly uh, insert a figure and then and how to properly APA cite the figure. I'll show you that very quickly, but that's also there for your reference. Okay. Ultimately, how you cite any kind of figure is that you would label it uh, the figure number. So if you have more than one figure, you would call it figure one, figure two, figure three. But for our course, uh, for our situation, the vast majority of you will have only one figure, so you would call it figure one. Then you would have, uh, of course, double space after the period. You would uh, talk about what the figure is. So in this case, Greenland Country Havens Organizational Flowchart depicting, depicting the managerial hierarchy of the agency, and then the copyright date. As I mentioned in class, if you have no copyright date, you would not list a date. You would say ND for no date. And if you received it from someone and you had to create your own, you would do the personal communication in-text citation uh, with uh, no date, of course, or actually in that case, the date would be the date you received the information. So let's actually insert um, an organizational flowchart to show you how easy it is. Uh, and, and this is how you would put it on the, on the uh, page that you need to put it on for your uh, big picture assignment. So let's call up a document, a blank document from Microsoft Word, and let's start with the easiest one, which is the, the picture. So how I would do this, let's say I'm on the page now that I want to insert my um, the, the organizational flowchart that may have been given to me either electronically or I had to scan it in as a photo into my computer, and I would just go to insert and I would go to pictures, and then I would go ahead and I would look for an organizational flow chart. And that organizational flow chart would be under Algonquin, DSW, twelve sixty two, and I think I have some in week fourteen. There we go. Okay, so under Algonquin DSW week fourteen I would now go ahead and look for a flow chart to use. Let's go with TCE's 2014 chart. Okay, TCE's 2014 chart. I double click and sure enough, 
it goes in quite easily. And there it is. Now that I have the TCE's organizational flowchart in, I would want then now to label it. Okay. Uh, quite easy. Figure one. And uh, total communication environment uh, organizational flow chart. I don't want organizational to be capital there. And I'm just going to fix the spelling of that. Depicting the hierarchy of the agency. Copyright. Is there a copyright? I don't see. Uh, yeah, 2014. 2014. Total communication in VIRON MENT. There we go. And I just I'm gonna just double check. I don't think there's a period after 2014, but I'm gonna just double check with my big picture assignment. So I'm just gonna find that behind here. Yeah, by there we go. That, there we go. Done. Pretty simple. Now let's pretend for a moment that for some reason when I received uh, their picture, it looked something like this. Well, or if it was sideways. I do not want an organizational flowchart sideways. What I'm going to ask you to do, and you can see I'm actually doing it here, is that I want you to flip it so it is actually right side up and it's very easy to do with a picture is just go up to the top uh, button of your of the actual photo uh, once you get the rotation um, symbol click and then just flip it and whoops it is a bit tricky sometimes to do it but you just flip it right side up and boom it's all done and it's correct and that's how I want to see it in your paper now that's that's pretty simple you get the organizational flow chart given to you and that's how easy it is. But let's say you don't get um, the organizational flow chart given to you and you have to create your own. Many of you may have this happen to you uh, in school systems. Well, um, let's use an example. Let's, let's say Carlton Heights Public School. Uh, you don't get uh, Carlton Heights Public School, uh, their organizational flow chart, so you uh, need to make your own. Well, you can actually make your own quite easily. Um, let's say you talk to the principal of the school. We'll say uh, the principal's name is Mr. Davies. And um, you talk to Mr. Davies April 4th, and you uh, want to put in uh, an organizational flowchart from the information he gave you. And he told you that uh, start with the superintendent, use the principal, the vice principal, then on the side there's the office administrator, and then there's a custodian, a teacher, and an EA at the bottom. Okay, you have all that information, you're ready to go. Well, first and foremost, I'm just going to make this a tiny bit smaller so you can see the whole page here as we create the organizational flowchart, is that uh, I would first of all start with the, the title of the flowchart at, at the top. And I would, um, so center my, my cursor bold and then just say uh, Carlton Heights Public School Organizational Chart. Done. And now I would just leave my cursor and, and enter an organizational flowchart. And this is how simple it actually is. I would go to uh, Insert. I would go to SmartArt. Once I go to SmartArt under Insert of my Word document, I would go down to Hierarchy. And then I would choose Organizational Chart. Um, this one here, pretty simple. It's your basic chart. And then I would hit OK. It would give me this basic organizational chart. 
Now, it doesn't give me enough squares to put in my text, but I can add squares to put in uh, information. So as I mentioned, I have three at the top. I have my, um, my principal, or my superintendent, my principal, and vice principal. And as you see here, it actually gives me a side shoot, which will be my office administrator, because an office administrator, administrator only reports to the managerial system, and no one reports to the office admin, administrator. Look at this, perfectly set up. I have a custodian, I have an EA, and I have a teacher all ready to go. So ultimately, at the top here, I just need to add two squares. So what I would do, I would click on the... the um, the organizational flow chart first and foremost and I would uh, enter in um, maybe for now vice principal and that's how easy it actually uh, fits in um, now that I now that I have uh, that done I would add a couple of shapes and as you see here the shapes go at the very bottom when I add the shapes I, I use this up here add shape uh, to do that. Um, now, when they, because I just hit add shape and, and I and I just went in after, uh, or I went in and it just went in at the very bottom, um, that actually can be easily fixed. So I'm just going to hit undo twice, and I'm going to make sure that my cursor is at the very top, and now I'm just going to scroll down, and I'm going to say add shape before, and then I'm going to add a second one before. And now the shapes actually go at the top, which makes everything nice and easy. Now I'm just going to move things around a little bit. And how I'm going to move things around is I'm going to just drag and drop information about my organizational flow chart to make everything fall into line. Let's have a look here. Oops. So it's just a matter of just a little bit of playing uh, with your There we go. We gotta go down a little bit further to make room. There we go. Because I want to make room so everyone can be seen. Okay, bring you down and bring you down. There we go, vice principal. Okay. Oh wow, okay. Now I didn't want, there we go, I just want to move that up. I don't want to have too, too much room. So I'm just dragging it up by using the top. It's a little off-center, so I'm going to just bring it more to the center. And I'm just dragging away here. Very easy. Not leaving too, too much room. There we go. to the center oh, almost there now you're going to notice and I don't know why this has happened but I'm sure there's a way to fix it that there's no lines here and there should have been lines when um, we made the uh, the insert I'm a perfectionist so give me a second there we go that's as close as I'm going to get it Okay, so we want to find out how we can fix that. Just want to play with this a tiny, tiny bit. Maybe up a tiny bit. There we go. Um, and that is to find out how to make a line go in. So we want to... Um, Okay, we have our standard layout. Insert. And I might just have to insert the line here, which is absolutely fine. 
And that's what I'm going to have to do, unfortunately. And I'm going to have to do it again. Well, before I do it, let's, let's make sure. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. So I'm okay with, um, well, maybe a little bit of a darker, darker blue. Or actually, that, that blue is fine. Um, not sure why. Actually, let's use that dark line. There you go. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing again. And make the line here. Yep. That's fine with me. Um, and I think actually I, I changed my mind. I don't like that, that color line. I'm going to go with that uh, color line. So I just had to make a couple of lines, which is, which is quite odd, because normally that works automatically. Um, so that, that's something that you just have to be aware of. I'm glad it, it, it sort of happened so you could actually see um, how, how, how that's done. I'm going to make the line a little bit thicker. I want it to sort of match. So now I'm just going to the shape outline, and I'm going to the weight and I'm making it one point. Okay, now that I have that done, I'm going to type in superintendent. And for this section, principal. Done. All right, office admin. I'm going to put in custodian. Oops, I'm going to put in educational assistant, and now I'm going to put in teacher. Excellent, wonderful, okay. Well, just to save me a little bit of time here, I'm just going to use the, um, the reference that I just used with uh, TCE. Now I'm going to go ahead and make sure that that is uh, left justified. And now I'm just going to say, um, for speed purposes, uh, Carleton Heights Public School organizational flow chart depicting the hierarchy of the, and instead of agency, I'll say school. and. Uh, no copyright. Instead, I said that Mr. Davies, who's Phil Davies, uh, gave me this, so I would just actually do an in-text citation. Um, so it would be P. Um, Davies, personal communication. And I said April 4th, let's say 20, 2030, for fun. And there you have it. And there is how I would uh, do it if I had to make my own. So again, um, this is how you would put in uh, your org charts uh, in, the, in the page you need to put it into. And if you're able to do either or, that's great. And that is the end of our three videos. Good luck with the uh, questionnaire.